my uncle Harvey um, was the most um, electric individual that you knew. So when he decided that his authenticity is something that needed to be celebrated and that uh, and it pained him that other members of the LGBT community were not being authentic, he created change just by the fact that he would enter into a dialogue on any issue and say, by the way, this is the community I represent and we share your issue with you. And so just by being himself and proclaiming who he was and who he loved in his life and not backtracking from that, even though at the time, 35 years ago, 38 years ago, when he started his campaigns, it was unheard of to, to do that. He created change just by being authentic. We benefit from our differences and we benefit from not hiding them or blurring them, but we benefit from celebrating them. We have uh, four or five hundred openly LGBT elected officials in the country today, and I think Harvey created a new um, standard for that, that, that is hard to live up to of being an openly LGBT person running for public office, putting yourself out there, putting yourself to scrutiny and to some questions. There was a likelihood that someone was going to um, kill him. And, it, and he was just refused to allow that to stop him. And I think we've seen that in our other civil rights leaders in this country. Unfortunately, we seem to have to lose some of them in order to, to take those steps forward.